yours truly, Annette, and this is my life. So, it is currently my, uh, Tuesday. Don't make me lie. 27th, I think y'all. <clears throat> um, it is 934. And me and the prince are on our way. To the school board. For an IEP meeting. Y'all. Honestly. I've been praying about this. Um. Trying to show this. I took my notes. Don't judge my little book, but um, it's the sweet dreams. I normally write down like things that I'm going through in this book. Um, I love writing poetry. I love writing short stories. It's one of my passions, but it has now turned into a book for my baby, where I'm going to be. This is all the points that I'm going to be speaking on today. So like I said, said my quick little prayer to the Lord. This morning I prayed on it. Last night I've been praying on it. All weekend. And just asking Lord, you know, the Lord to move self out the way. And to use my body as a vessel. And I don't mean, because, you know, my mama kind of, when I said to remove me out the way, she kind of took it like, no, don't move you out the way. And I was like, no, I mean for him to move me out of the way, self out of the way, you know, because self sometimes have earthly emotions and things like that. I need for him to move that out of the way and to speak through me and allow me to do what I need to do for my child. I know I ain't been going too in depth about what we dealing with right now, but that's because we going through it, y'all, and I don't want to say the wrong thing or, you know, do the wrong thing and cause harm to our, our fight or set us back. But y'all, I'm tired. I'm tired of going through this, but at the same time, I know it's going to open doors. I saw it. It's going to move mountains. And I'm looking in the long run, you know. I know it's kind of shaky, y'all. I'm not just trying to open doors for other people's children. I'm trying to open a door for my very own child. It starts with him. And if somebody else, if somebody else's family benefits from the battle that I'm going through right now, y'all, I'm okay with that. But I first got to get us together. Because I'm looking forward to the day when I could look back on these videos or I could look back on my life and my child's life and what we've gone through or what we're going through and look back on it and be like man I don't miss the days but I'm thankful for him I know that right now he doesn't understand but I, I have the firm belief that one day it's gonna click in his head and he gonna be like dang I put mama through hell Dang, I didn't realize what I was doing was causing all of this, this, and this. But I'm a firm believer 
then when them doors start opening up, he's gonna realize, wow, life could have been a little easier had I not made everything so negative, had I, had I not done this, this, or that. But it, I'm learning that as a parent, I have to look back on when I was a kid and I have to remember that, hey, when you were that age or when you were a kid, you didn't have it all figured out. You still, you're 32 and still don't have it figured out. But you did things that, that you know, you knew wasn't right, but you did it anyway and felt them consequences. You know, I understand that. And I also understand and, and consider the fact that my child has a disability. He is autistic. Now, I know I keep saying, oh, they don't look at him like he's autistic. And I appreciate that. I don't want the world to judge my child solely on the fact that he's autistic. I don't want that to be his crutch. But at the end of the day, when it comes to his education and his learning, you have to consider that fact. That my child is not the average child. His mind is wired differently. And no, because he's different does not make him any less than. And I feel like right now, they're treating my child as though he's less than. And I'm not going to stand for it. As an adult, when it comes to certain things, when it came to my education, when it came to doing something that I was afraid to do, I didn't allow people to counsel me out. I did my best at everything that I put my mind to do. If I was playing a sport, I tried my hardest to do the best that I could. Now, yeah, I wasn't like them other kids and who would get upset when they lost or um, get in their feelings when they weren't number one. I wasn't like that. But I did go out there and I played my hardest. I did my best. If I struck out that round, oh well, I got another bat. You, you know what I'm saying? And I want to instill that in my child. We've been dealing with him right now where it's like, you know, I'm a, I'm a sports head. I, I love to play sports. Now, as far as watching sports, every once in a while I'll you know, watch an MLB game or I watch basketball, but I'm not into it like a lot of other adults that are. You know, I don't have no stake in it. You feel me? <laughs> yeah, he in the back, y'all. Yep. Sorry about that, y'all. Somebody called me early this morning. But, um, you know, I wanted him, you know, we, we, Played around with a couple of sports. We tried the baseball. He did not. He did one season of baseball and was like, mm-mm, not feeling it. Um, you miss Price. We, we did the soccer. He enjoyed soccer. He loved it. Now, this year, we missed the soccer uh, sign-ups. They didn't advertise it like they normally do, but... Um, we're waiting. We're looking and waiting around to hear back about basketball. He's taking the basketball. Honestly, at first, I didn't think that he would. Because, you know, it's a lot involved in it. But he found his niche. He he, he learned that he's a good defense player. Um, his coach picked up on that. And he used that to, to the team's advantage. And... Shut and love being the distraction. <laughs> he loves that. He, he is good at getting in your face and being hella annoying. But he found his niche and he took to basketball. And I appreciate Coach James for that. Yeah. Because at first when him and Sheldon started out, he was having a hard time with Sheldon. And I never I will never forget one practice that they had and Sheldon was just being a complete but y'all like he didn't want to listen to the man he didn't want to do what the other kids were doing you know he just had that i don't care attitude and he kept saying i can't i can't and i never forget coach told him i don't ever want to hear you say i can't again 
All I want to see you do is try your hardest and do your best. I don't care if you're not perfect. I just want you to do your best. Show me something. And I, I remember pulling Coach out to the side. I hadn't already talked to, you know, the set parents that I would talk to, you know, or who would engage with me. I had already pretty much talked to them and let them know, you know, what was up with Sheldon. So they kind of had an understanding. Um, but that, that practice, I pulled Coach to the side and I explained to him, I say, Sheldon's not like the other boys. You know, what you mean, Mom? And I, I told him, I say, I don't want to label my child, but I feel like it's best that you know. My child is autistic. And he instantly, he his face just changed. He was like, ah, he said, I, I picked up on some things. He said, I noticed some things. And um, he was like, I'm glad you told me, mama. I'm glad that you brought it to my attention because now I can switch up my tactics and how I operate when it comes to him. And he did, y'all. That man took in consideration that my child was not like the other boys. But in him switching his tactic, y'all, he did not treat my child any differently. Do you understand what I'm saying? He asked me for my permission. Mama, can I be hard on him? Mama, can I do this? You know, he would literally, y'all, ask me certain things that he could and couldn't do. And I'd be like, treat him like the other boy. Show him that he's not different. But approach him in a different manner. See, Sheldon's the type, if you confront him in a negative way, you're going to get that back. You understand what I'm saying? That's why sometimes I have to watch my tone and how I talk with my child because depending on how you present yourself to him is going to be how you're going to get him back. Now, sometimes it don't matter how you present yourself. He's just going to be a butt. <laughs> but he did, y'all. He switched up his tactic with Sheldon without treating him differently than the other boys. If Sheldon got an attitude, Sheldon had to run laps like the rest of them. If Sheldon... Uh, Missed two out of the three shots. He had to run laps like the rest of them. It didn't matter. He still, but he changed up his tone and how he would talk to him. And I just want people to know, no, I didn't want to lead with that when I introduced my child to people. But I'm slowly learning that because the world is not equipped for him. Because people do not always know how to see the signs or, you know, because he is. He's high-functioning autistic, which means that he he can appear as a, as though he's an average kid. And sometimes you can listen to him and you be like, dang, this kid really smart. And he is. But if you have some grasp on autism then you know that their intellect is brilliant but they also express themselves in a different manner like yeah i say all the time my child don't care because to, truth be told he does show me that he cares you know he have those moments where i it don't matter what mood i'm in y'all my baby will just randomly come up out his room and fall into my arms, give me a hug, or give me a kiss. You know, he can show affection, he can receive affection, but he doesn't always, he doesn't always show that he cares in the way that people feel like they it should be shown. You know, I don't know if I'm making sense to y'all. It's so difficult to explain sometimes, but I don't know. It's his, his, his. It's just he wired different, y'all. And I've been on here for a minute, but that's because um, Bella, boom, boom, the meeting doesn't start until ten. But I wanted to get a jump start on getting here, and um, you know. But I just wanted to talk to y'all for a minute. But back to what I was saying about sports. You know, he he at first. After he played his first season of basketball, he was gun ho He was ready to play for the school. But then as it got closer to school starting, you know, his uncle would ask him, you ready for basketball, playing for the school, Neff? And so I was like, no, 
I'm not going to play. And I'd be like, he going to play. He told me the other day he was going to play. And then slowly, when I started mentioning it, he, he started to reveal to me that he didn't want to play for the school. And I kind of shrugged it off because I'm like, all this time you've been preparing and been ready to play for the school, and now all of a sudden you don't want to. I'm just shrugging it off because I know you. You Sometimes you just say stuff just to be saying it <clears throat> or just to be against whatever I'm saying. And then one day, you know, I just stopped and I thought I was like, okay, I'm going to ask him again. And I asked him, y'all, when school started. And he Sorry about that, y'all. People calling me again. What was I saying? You were saying about the sports. Right. Thank you. See what I mean, y'all? He comes through in the clutch when he wants to. Um, but yeah, basically, um, he, he, you know, I asked him, why? Why do you not want to play for the school anymore? You were so prepared and ready to do it. And my baby, just like always, when he had those moments of brilliance, and he talked to me with clarity. He explained to me that he didn't want the rejection. What? Mm, that sparked something in me, y'all, because I can remember as a kid, it was a lot of things that I didn't do because I was afraid of rejection. And I was like, oh, my God, this kid is more like me than I thought. You know, but I don't want him to be like that. But I also understand. He's different than me. If somebody was to tell me no. Y'all, I swear. I would be hurt, but I'd move on to the next. Him, I feel like it would absolutely crush him. Why? One, because basketball is something he's finally, he's found that he likes. And he enjoys it. And that would that would crush him for the school to reject him. Um, don't know if he would have been rejected. It doesn't hurt to try, but I'm not gonna push him to do anything he's not prepared or ready and for. Another reason why I don't want to play basketball is because I'll be so nervous. I'll forget everything Coach taught me. Like seriously, everything. How to I can't even remember the word. Dribble? Yeah, that. <laughs> Man, y'all. Um, so, my mom just pulled up and we're about to Wait, go ahead in. Yeah. I thought there was another person. But, um, called. of course, I'll come back on and give y'all as much as I can on an update. So, we'll be back. She we can go home and make our pumpkins. Yeah. Okay, you guys. Hello. Hi, how are y'all? Now, the last time I came on here, it was like 8.30, 8.40. It is currently 1.26 p.m. I was going to come back on here after the IEP meeting, but we had to go to rehab services for... Um, <clears throat> the doctor's release back in school. Yeah, y'all see how I broke a nail? Close the door. So I have to redo that one. <laughs> but, okay, anywho. Um, so, basically, had the, um, IEP meeting and it still wasn't, you know, we, we walked out of there, you know, not with much resolve, um, basically, he is allowed to go back to, oh, shit, I'm sorry, I forgot Taco Bell first, um, he's allowed to go back to school, but, um, it's just a, a couple of things we have to work out and figure out and get arranged. And it's just so much involved in this, but <sighs> something's happening. Something's happening, and I'm just 
trusting the process and being patient. Y'all, I didn't get too emotional today. I shed it like one tear. I got teary eyed when I was, you know, talking about something or, you know, my mom made a point and I kind of got teary eyed, but I didn't cry. I, I wasn't aggressive, but. It's, it's a lot to it, y'all. But we are going home. We're getting Taco Bell now because we haven't eaten all day. Um, so, he wanted Taco Bell for his lunch. So, quite naturally, I'm going to eat Taco Bell, too. And then we're going to go home, eat. And once we've eaten, I'm going to go ahead and set up our little workstation. about it oh I am getting a um my mom is going to she has a um because this thing starting to fall to pieces too she has a extra filing cabinet one that'll be you know kind of small enough for me to put in my house but as well um to be big enough for me to store this paperwork so I can keep track of all of this instead of having it in different folders and whatnot. Um where's my pen at? Remember to mark this down as um what do you want babe? Let me get four hard shell tacos with just meat and cheese. Anything else? With the Sprite. With the, um, let me get a medium Sierra Mist. Okay. And then let me get the, um, $5 Grande Stacker Box. What kind of drink? Um, let me switch it up. Let me get a, um, large Baja Blast. Regular or frozen? Uh, regular. Anything else for you? Mm, and two of your shredded chicken quesadilla milk. Okay. And that'll be it. What kind of sauce for you? Fire. Is your order correct on the screen? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Do you mind if we run your total up to $16 to help with education? Yes, that's fine. Thank you so much. $16. Leave a little more, please. Thank you. See, I give back when I do when it's to do. I don't mind giving back to education, even though sometimes it can be a pain in the ass. Today is the 10, 2020, and I don't look before a day, but so as y'all can see. We didn't order that food. Um, oh, I can't believe that messed my finger up for real. Thank you, honey. His granny gave him some money for lunch, y'all. And he's paying for his mom. He can be good when he wants to be. Welcome. 
So, even though you weren't a part of the IEP meeting, how do you feel about what Byron said? Mm -hmm. Do you think he was right in allowing you to go back to school? I don't know. Of course, I'm not going to get nothing out of him, y'all. He's over the whole situation, to be honest. This has been all morning, you guys, so. It's kind of taxing. And it can be annoying. Like, I'm annoyed. I Y'all, I literally took my blood pressure medicine and popped the BC powder just because <laughs> I felt like it was gonna be a process. Thank you. Yeah. I'm um, interested to see what she has to say and her take on things and you know stuff like that. Thank you. So, yeah, that was nice. He didn't have to let me out. Doggy, 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 doggy. What the police got going on over here? That's down my brother in the street. They got a car, like, sandwiched in between them. One cop car in front running back. I guess you can't run, huh? But yeah. I'm going to what they got going on. I'm um probably gonna Well are you gonna go or not? That's where we're at, you guys. Um, he is allowed to go back to school. Nothing in the IEP has changed. Um, it just, it's pretty much the way how they have it set up with protocol and all of that. We're pretty much at the point of, because whether he is special, special education or regular education, it does not matter that he has special needs. A threat is a threat regardless, and they have to handle it accordingly. There are no special specifications for a special needs child saying something like that, which is ridiculous to me because a lot of the times special needs kids don't even understand what they're talking about or, or realize what they're talking about. So how can you put them in the same category as regular needs kids? Like, I don't know. But anywho. So we're at the point of, yes, he can go back to school, but let's say in a week's time or two weeks time or a month down the road, he decides that he's just going to say whatever again whether it be the same terminology or a new way he worded it. We're pretty much what I'm trying to say, y'all, is if he does this again, we're going to do the same thing over and over. We're going to keep going through this same process over and over and over and over until finally somebody clicks it in their regular-minded selves that, okay, you know, special needs kids need a different protocol when it comes to these types of situations. Rome wasn't built in a day, people. And apparently... He does this every time. He swears to God he does this in my door, y'all. But apparently, my child's education won't be solved in a day, neither. So, with that being said... Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified. Make sure you click all so that you get all my posts. In the meantime, in between time, I'll...